Hi, this is Eric with Matco Tools. Every body man has been used to using the uh, version of a steel stud gun for a long period of time for setting steel studs onto a panel, welding them on, and pulling some dents. Brand new from Matco Tools, this is the MWS 9002. This is a multi function steel and aluminum stud welding system. And one of the big advantages to this machine is the fact that this machine will operate off 110, 115 volt common shop power. So no need for to find a 230 volt line in, in your shop. This, this guy is ready to go with a 110, 115 volt plug. Now this video, uh, as I mentioned before, this machine will work with both steel and aluminum by simply changing out the torch, the ground, and the control pin. But this video will will hone in on the steel side of this machine and there will be a second video that will cover the aluminum side general setup and orientation of the machine itself so when you turn the machine on you have a nice digital control panel working from left to right we have both manual controls and automatic control so by toggling this arrow up or down manual means I have to press down the trigger of the torch to activate the weld on an automatic mode, as an example, I can put a slide hammer attachment on and automatically when I get close to that surface, it automatically weld without pushing the trigger. In the middle of the screen here, I have my function selection. So right now, this shows it's set up for aluminum studs. And by pressing up or down on the arrows, I can then go to my different modes. Second mode down is set for steel tabs. You can see my power adjustment's going to change. There are some preset power settings out of the box, and I'll show you how to change that in a moment. If we keep on going down, now we're on our weld on slide hammer. Then finally, we press that one more time. We're on to steel studs. If I were to press this again or go back up, I can go to my different modes of operation. So let's say as an example, I, don't, I, I need a little bit more juice. 65% is what it's set to out of the box. I want to change that and actually increase the power. I can do that by just turning the knob here. And once I get myself to a point where I like it, I can press down. You can see it blink three or four times. That's going to lock in that power adjustment. So if I were to turn this machine back off and turn it back on, I'll have that 73% shown there. Now, if you want to quickly reset the power adjustment, you can hold down the up and down arrows here simultaneously, just press it down and it'll go back to 65%. We're gonna leave this at 73 for right now. Um, again, this machine will work off both steel and aluminum and this video is covering the steel side. So, what's included with this, with this machine? On the steel side, there's a bunch of accessories. It's really a multi-function system. We have a weld-on slide hammer that will go on our steel side torch. This is our steel side torch. This is our steel side ground. We can shoot regular two millimeter or 2.6 millimeter studs with this tool. We can set steel tabs to be used with this tool with the tab tip, both straight and twisted tabs. We have the stud tip like we talked about. This will help us set our, our steel studs. We have a wiggle wire attachment to set wiggle wire. There is a, a little bit of wiggle wire included in the box to get started with wiggle wire. We also have what's called a tab shooter, and this particular accessory will hold up to 30 tabs in the magazine here, and I'll show you how you can feed that. It's pretty neat. We can feed these very quickly rather than putting in one tab at a time. So, to get going, we're going to put our tab tip inside the collet. We want to make sure that we're all the way down nice and tight. These connections are called dense connections. We're gonna to wanna to push them in into the to cabinet and then we're gonna twist and turn to make sure those are nice and tight as well as the control itself. You can see we're on a steel application right here on steel tabs. I like to use like a spot shrink tip. I have one of your old stud guns, you got one of these little attachments. Wanna make sure the surface area for the ground is larger than the ground itself. And then the ground itself, we want to make sure as this wears over time that this area is clean, as well as this is the nice, nice sharp point. So you can grind that down if, if uh, overextended use, it becomes a little dull. 
So what we're going to do to go ahead and set that ground is come over to our steel panel. And we want to try to work as close as we can to the ground itself for better connectivity. If we have a tear in the panel or something, we don't want to set our ground here and be working over here. So if there is a tear, we want to work on the, on the, the right side of the tear, everything work together. So we're going to get our, our ground lug. Then we're going to come over here and put our tip in. And we're going to activate that trigger. Okay, now I made my connection. And now I want to go ahead and tighten that ground lug all the way till it's secure to the panel. This is a pretty important step. By leaving that off or taking that piece off, we're not going to get a good solid connection to make our, our welds. So with, that, with this uh, ground firmly in place, we'll go ahead and put our our stud tip like we showed you earlier. We'll put that in our, our holder. We'll go and take a steel stud out. Load it into the stud tip. Let's come over here. Down to, down to stu studs. I'm going to get my, my tool and my torch directly on the panel. I don't want it, uh, a cockeyed left or right. I want to try to get it up over the top and then just press the button. And now we set a steel stud. Now what's pretty important is that this, is uses, this machine uses capacitive discharge technology. What that means is there's no burn through on the other side or distortion on the back side of the panel. If you're used to your traditional stud gun, you can literally hold the trigger down and make it glow cherry red and hold it down too long and burn through the panel where this tool will allow you to simply give a quick shot of energy to the panel, we're secure, and now we can go about our, uh, our pull. We'll load another stud in here, do the same thing, lay that right down next to it, and now we're ready to go. So that's a quick application of, of steel studs. Now I'll go ahead and take that extended tip holder out and my stud tip out, and I'll put my tab tip in its place. So this does not require the extended tip. We'll, we'll, we'll chuck that right up. You can see that you can chuck this tool either straight on in or at a 90 degree bend. I prefer the 90 degree because you can get up over the top of the tool itself. Again, go ahead and tighten that down. And now we're going to put a steel tab in the tab tip holder. I'm going to come back up here and make sure our mode is in steel tabs. And we'll do the same application get ourselves nice and centered over the tab itself and press the trigger. You can see how quickly that is. Now I've got a nice tab stuck in there. I'll go load another one up. The beauty of tabs is I can get tabs really close to one another. And I can line these up and perform a straight line pull. So really nice. Another big advantage of tabs is that I can twist these and now you can see I've left relatively li very little mark to dress after the fact. I can take these off and now I can finish the surface. Now, so we've shown you the regular tab tip. We'll go ahead and put the auto uh, semi-automatic feeder in our tab shooter. We'll load this guy up again, making sure we have a nice connection, nice and tight. Make sure that our tab is extended. And we're going to get up over the top of the panel again. Okay, I made the weld. I'm going to pull up. We're going to cock the tool. Now again, you see how close we can get to one another. And now I can put a pulling rod through and use some sort of leverage tool, whether it's a bridge or another tool that we can then lever, leverage these and pull, a, pull all these at the same time. Another access, ex accessory that we talked about, again, we can use wiggle wire with this, with this machine, and we can also chuck up our weld-on slide hammer. This will weld directly to the panel, and then I can slide, this will weld to the and I can slide and, and perform my, my pull with the slide hammer. So again, this is the steel side of the, of the Matco MWS 9002 steel and aluminum multifunction stud welding system.